Hey friends, welcome back to Ray J's Outdoor Adventure. So today I was going to show you my electrical setup. This is like I said, this is an off-grid electrical option for you. Maybe, you know, you probably, some of you folks probably already have done something like this, but this is what I'm using for my cabin. And I figured I'd share what I'm using and see what you think. All right, so here we go. All right, friends, so here is my um, off-grid setup, right? So I don't have power run into my cabin or anything like from the uh, commercial grid there. But what I do use here is this um, inverter generator. I bought this on Amazon. It's a WEN, W-E-N. It's their 3,800 watt inverter generator. And um, I've had it now for three years. I was using it with my camper uh, because of the 30 amp RV plug here, as you can see, right? And um, that was really good for you know, using a 13,000 BTU uh, AC in the um in the camper and so since then i sold my camper to get this cabin built so i needed to figure out a way i can use this for the uh off-grid cabin setup i'm going to start this thing up and i'll just show you kind of two primary things why i use this for i use it to top off my solar generator for the uh the batteries inside the solar generator, obviously, to run all my lights and all my basic stuff. And then there's two circuits inside the cabin. I got one circuit to charge the solar generator on a 15 amp circuit. Um, then the other one is a 20 amp circuit that I, I ran because I had 12 two wire running through all the cabins a little bit over, you know, kind of overdoing it a little bit on some of these things. But looking at it as a 20 amp circuit, um, I plug in my AC, my window AC in the summertime when it gets real hot and it seems to work really well. But again, I'm burning fuel, but just to give you an idea here. So I'll just turn this thing on here. over to the cabin just through this you know flexible conduit 
and it goes inside and I'll show you what I have inside. So currently inside the cabin, I'm running all my power right now, like all my plugs off that one circuit coming off, off the solar generator here, as you can see. Um, I'm using an EcoFlow River Pro, very small. I bought it a while back when I was doing a little bit of uh, off-grid camping for using my CPAP and some lights and tents and things like that. But now I'm using it in the cabin for my lights so I'm not just running the outside generator all day long when I'm here. So this helps out a lot. I would love to someday get a bigger generator now that with things the way that they're going, um, you can get you know a lot more output, a lot more amp hours or watt hours. So that works out pretty good, but it, it does the job. As you can see here, I, I have all my lights and fans going and things like that. And it's showing 14 hours on that load. And there's like 70 watt output right now. That's, only, that's all it's really pushing. So, uh, you know, that's pretty good. It's pretty good for a day's time to charge up the solar generator off the regular generator outside. But here's what I really wanted to show. And this is just an option for you folks if you want to do some sort of off-grid setup. <clears throat> I have um, I have my conduit. When I say going outside, it comes up and it goes into this sub-panel box or this sub-box. Uh, square D. Uh, the model number here is Q02L30S. So it has two slots in here. Um, I currently have them both off right now, as you can see here. And uh, what I did was, since there's two slots, I had the 15 amp, which feeds this plug here, which then feeds the solar generator to keep it charging. So um, I'll show you that in a minute. I just turn that on when I want to. And then the 20 amp plug, I have that running out, okay? And it feeds a couple um, plugs in the cabin that I could plug in um, my window AC, which is like over here. This plug here, I'll plug in my AC right into the window. That works great in the summertime. Just a little, you know, 5,000 BTU window um, AC. And so I'll run it and I'll run my generator on that. And like if I'm out here for a weekend, two, three days, I'll run through, you know, just to sleep, I'll probably burn through two gallons of gas, which I know I got to think of a better way of doing this over time. But for now, for off-grid use and weekend kind of warrior kind of stuff, it, it works well for me. But like I said, I got the plug there, got a plug down here, and then there's a plug over here for my coffee maker. And I got that thing plugged in because that solar generator just doesn't have enough juice to do all that. All right, so on the output side of this little solar generator, the um, the uh, River Pro, I have two plugs coming on the output side. I have an appliance cord, which then goes up. You can see here, the appliance cord goes up and feeds this male um, box. They're mainly uh, meant to be put outside, but on, on this um, generator here, I have it plugged into this this male single gang electric box. And then what it does is it goes up through that little stud there and feeds a double gang box I have enclosed. I'll show you that in a second here. And over here, this is the double gang box I was talking about. So I have 12-2 coming up and it just acts as like a little splice box. I kind of spliced all the lines together here there's one 14 two, which feeds a plug over here. It's just a light plug here, as you can see, which feeds that light up there. And then I have like a 14 three between this, between this plug here and the one upstairs as a traveler wire. And so that's kind of how I have my lights and my plug set up in the cabin here currently. So this plug here, this plug actually charges my uh, solar generator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the breaker box here at this 15 amp circuit breaker, turn this on. 
Okay, as you can see, the lights flicker a second. Now this plug is on. Now with that south wire ground neutral plug that I have plugged into the generator, when I go to plug this in, it's showing normal. As you can see here, this is showing normal. So that's what it will do with that ground plug that neutral plug actually, the ground neutral plug um, made by Southwire that's plugged in outside at the generator. That will show you that your um, wiring is correct and, and safe to use. All right, so after talking about all the um, wiring setups and using the um, ground neutral and all that, showing you how like, you know, wiring everything up properly and then hooking it to the generator uh, I wanted to just kind of share this piece about the charging my solar generator off of AC coming from the other generator, <laughs> uh, the gas generator, right? So we got the solar generator right now currently, as you can see, um, you know, it's showing 10 hours now. The output watts are changing. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on that circuit that I was explaining before, right? That's this plug here. As you can see, I have that going up to this 15 amp circuit. So I'm gonna flip this on. See how it flickered? Now that plug is now active, which then goes down. As you can see here, it goes down. And then underneath, and over and into the solar generator. Now that AC is feeding the um, solar generator from the generator outside, you know, off the gas generator, the uh, inverter one that I had, I was showing you before the WEN generator. And um, right now I got about 346 watts of input, saying it's gonna take about an hour to charge. And I'm also using about 67, 68, watts of output based on the lights and some things I have running in the cabin at the time. So at least that will give you an idea. Um, and again, this is one solar generator, the EcoFlow River Pro. I also have the other battery in the back here. Gives me a little more uh, running time on this generator, but there's so many new generators out right now that are much more powerful, have more uh, amp hours and things like that. But I've had this equipment now for two to three years. Like I said, the generator outside three years, probably the, the EcoFlow River Pro, I've had this now probably around the same time. So, you know, it's, it's uh, I think this is version one, they made a change to it. So anyways, I know I'm going on talking too long, but just wanted to uh, share that with you with my off-grid system here and it works. I wanted to explain a little more in detail about the south wire grounding bonding plug. This little unit here. Now I have my tester. Show it on the generator. Like I said, inside you have that, um, you know, it's showing correct with the two lights on here. Now when I take this plug out, watch what happens. As you can see, now it went dim. So it's showing that it's an open ground with this plug. So that's why I use this thing. I watched a couple other folks use it and I figured I would share that. That kind of helps with the wiring and the whole thing of running it safely. So just something to add to the video. Just, uh, give you all a little more context around why I'm using that thing. Well, friends, this concludes the video. I hope it made some sense to you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll have a complete inventory of what I used for the cab and I'll put it in the links. You can get most of this stuff from Home Depot, Lowe's, any local hardware store, preferably hard, local hardware stores, because I like to support mine um, as best as I can, but also on Amazon too. So, Thanks for tuning in and happy holidays.